Hi everyone. In the previous video, we already learned how to build MRP tables using periodic order quantity F, uh, POQ and fixed order quantity FOQ. So today we will learn how to uh, build MRP table using lot for lot order quantity or shorten term is L4L. So let's go through what kind of information we have. We have the gross requirement in week one is 150. What is gross requirement? It, this is the total item, the total products that we have to deliver to the customer. So we have in week one, we have to deliver 150 products to the customer. In week four, 120. In week six, 150. And in week seven, 120. We have the beginning inventory is 37 units. Lead time is two weeks. Safety stock we assume to be euro in this case. And we will receive 230 units in week one. So let's fulfill this table. For the schedule received, we have the information that we will receive in week one 230 units so we will put in week one 230 so what is schedule receipts schedule schedule receipt is the uh, the amount the uh, quantity quantity of the products that you already ordered long time ago or in in the past but the supplier were not able to uh, supply to you on time so they will set a schedule to deliver the product for you so here we have the schedule receipt is 230 products in week one and week two to week eight we do not have any schedule receipts so we just leave it blank for on hand inventory in current it's the beginning inventory we have 30, 37 so i will put 37 here for week one to week eight we will calculate later okay so let's see now how we can calculate the on hand inventory in week one is will equal to what you receive what you have minus what you have to deliver to your customer so what you have is okay 37 i have is on hand in stock plus what you receive so we have two type receipt the schedule receipt and the plan receipt the plan receipt will affect what we will make order how many we make order so i will just plus the c6 and we minus what we have to give out, what we have to deliver out. So that is the gross requirement. So we have the on hand inventory in week one is 117. So it's very easy. We just copy this cell for all the cell until week eight. Okay. So we can see in week two, our on hand inventory is still 117 and the same for week 3 but for week 5 4 5 6 7 8 the on, van, on hand inventory is negative and it doesn't make sense because on hand inventory has to be larger or equal to euro so the next step we will uh, check the plan receipts so since let's look at week four we only have 117 but we have to deliver it to the customer 120 it means we like curve three products so we will plan to receive here three products but i will introduce the formula for you to calculate the whole cell uh, for the plan receipt so let's start from week one so we will check what we have and what we need, which one is higher. So I will use if function. So if what we have, so on hand inventory, 
plus what we receive from the schedule if it's still less than the gross requirement we need to order right we we need to plan to order and how much how many should we order is will be equal to what we need the gross requirement minus what we have okay but if we have more than enough we don't need to plan to order anymore so it will be equal to euro so we will have in week one of course we don't need to plan to receive any products because we still have 117 on hand inventory so the same you just need to copy this cell to all the cell until week eight we will have the plan receive for eight weeks so let's double check for l4l if we like have three products we will order exactly three if we like of 10 products we will order exactly 10 so we the number we order is exactly the same with number we short of is 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 different from the foq and poq okay so we can see in week four we plan to receive three items and in week six we uh, plan to receive 150 and in week seven we plan to receive 120 so to receive three products in week four when we have to order so let's see here we see the lead time is two weeks it means that we have to order two weeks in advance so to receive three products in week four we have to order three products in week two okay so i just leave it here three so the same you also uh, you can copy this until week week eight then we can see in week two we will order three items week four we order four items and in week five we order 120 items okay